Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of a tutorial on how to upload fast to Google Colab. So for this tutorial, the approach we are going to use is to mount the Google Drive in Google Colab and then from there, we look at getting the path of the file and then we use pandas to read that file. So let's proceed. So first of all, let's open the cargo page. And then we are going to download an example data set here. So this is the page and I'll leave the link of this page in the description box. So you can use that to also get the file. So we are still using the train CSV file here, which we used in the previous tutorial. So we just download, just click on it and then just download. And then just save it on your PC and then yeah, so now we have it saved. So I save it on my desktop, so here's a file. So the next thing to do is to upload this file to Google Drive. So I have my Google Drive here. So this is my Google Drive. And then what I'm going to do is to upload that file there, this particular file into Google Drive. So that's what, um, let me see how that uh, will be done. So it's just simple, just drag, let me just minimize my stuff here. I'll just drag to the web interface here and then it will be uploaded. So yeah, so now it has been uploaded. So this is where it is. But I want to make my files organized. So I'll just create a directory here, a new folder, if you want to call it that way. Let me just name it data sets and then I'll just put that file there, the train file there. So it's now in this particular folder. So we have it there. So now once you have it there, you go back to your Google Colab here and then this is where we are going to do the activity. So let's, let's do this. Let's first open a new notebook because the assumption is that we are going to open this particular CSV file. So we are opening a new notebook here. Okay, so from here, what we'll do is to import the drive model in Google Colab. So this is what will help us to mount the Google Drive. So we say from google.colab import drive let me enlarge it a bit here yeah i think this is okay so we have this code and then let's run it we are doing it line by line so we are running this code okay so that line has been executed so once it's successful you have this green mark here let's enter another code here so we are now going to mount. So we say drive dot mount. We are mounting our Google Drive. And please note, you need to also sign in to your Google account first. It's important. So that is what will help you to run Google Colab. So drive dot mount, and then we say slash contents slash drive, and then we run it. So after successfully executing the drive.mount command, you have this appearing. So here you are going to enter an authorization code. So this authorization code, you will get it by following this link. So this will allow you to sign in and get the code. So let's sign in to get the code. So you click on this link and then you copy the code that has been shown for you. So here is my code. So I'll just copy it. And then after copying, you'll come back to this section here where you have the enter authorization code and then you paste the code there. So you paste it. And 
and then you hit the enter key but you also see that there is some activity going on so once the code has been accepted you now have this message appearing mounted at slash content slash drive that is what you see um, I covered some of the codes um, just for um, privacy reasons but whatever you are doing you should see it on your screen so once you have this statement given that is mounted at slash content slash driving I mean that Google Collab now has access to your Google Drive so from here you can just read the files so to read the files you also need to get the path okay it's important to get a path so how do you get a path let's get back here and then check so you go to files here on the left this cursor here follow the cursor files here click on it and then after clicking you are going to see drive so you click on the drive and then you see my drive so you just click on it the point is to track where your file is and get um, the path so this data set this is where uh, we, we stored the train csv file so you click on it and you have this so here you now right click and then you go to copy path here so you copy the path and then now you can now use that path and to read the csv file so let's close this you have the path so let's open a new code so let's define the path let's say this equals you paste it yeah, it should be a strange format so let's put it in quotes this is it so this is the path so we just get it done so you have defined that variable so let's run that code just to get a path so after that it's now time to read the csv file so you use pandas so you need to import pandas so you see import pandas as pd let's just run it line by line and you can also combine the codes in a single um, line but it's fine let's do it this way so let's import let's create a new code so from here let's say data frame equals pd.read csv and then you indicate the path that is what we did here so this is the path so we could have pasted the entire thing here but that is why we assign everything to a variable so it's the variable that we call here so path and then you run it so now it's done so from here you can now start manipulating your data so let's say data frame dot shape just run it and get your your stuffs maybe what's again then data frame dot head just to guess the first five lines yeah so you can just be manipulating your data um, after you have successfully loaded them so this is how it is with this other approach about mounting your google drive so i believe this has been helpful and you're able to use it to get some stuff uh, done on your python project so let me also get your comments and then we can have some discussions as well so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session Goodbye.